Hello, everybody. Thursday morning. Uh, here at United, we, we have a vast repertoire of songs and hymns that we sing. Uh, old hymns, lots of old hymns. Maybe we, we don't sing those songs often enough these days, generally speaking, in the church. And then we sing lots of new songs. I like to call these things treasures, old and new, and it's a wonderful gift to be able to embrace our heritage and yet be introduced to new things, which in due course will become part of our heritage in years to come. Here's one of those old songs which is being rediscovered in our time. Uh, and you will recognize it when I, I play it. Um, it arose out of a, an event of great sorrow in a man's life. Uh, the guy's name was Spafford. Henry Spafford, I think his first name was. Uh, it was written, oh, in a previous generation, going way back probably into the early years of the 20th century. Um, when Spafford, who had been a wealthy man, lost virtually everything he owned. And on top of that, there was a terrible shipping accident in the Atlantic, and, and his children were on the ship, and all of them died. So he's left with nothing, but he has a wonderful wife. But hearing of the news of his daughter's death, he sits down to pen a hymn. And it, it expresses the deep hope and faith of his heart. And uh, you know the words, when peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. And then there's the refrain, it is well, and there's an echo, it is well with my soul, and there's an echo with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. And that hymn underlines the truth that in the final analysis, it is Christ alone who is our hope and strength. He is the one yesterday, today, and forever into the future, both for this life and the next. So, let me play it for you. Uh, I don't have the words on the screen, but a goodly number of you will be able to sing along. Jesus, my friends, be the focus of your life, both for this world 
and that which is to come. God be with you. I'll chat with you again. Look forward to being with you tomorrow.